welcome to my channel and thank you for playing this video. Our topic today is all about the GOAT for 2022. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel if this is your first time to subscribe to my channel. And uh, please click the notification bell to get you notified for my future videos. You can also follow me on my Instagram account, the details on the screen. And I also have a free uh, ebook e that you can actually download and share to your friends and family. Uh, please click the link below to lead you to my free ebook. Okay, I have a webinar happening in December. December 10 is the new schedule that I opened for everybody. Uh, if you're interested, uh, please click the link also in the caption box. This basically includes Pachi Fungso and Kim and Dunja as a preparation for 2022. Uh, in addition to that, there, uh, I also have a free topic that actually includes uh, period 9 compliance, what you can do for your space and your Pachi chart. All right. Okay. So now going back to our main topic, which is the goat for 2022. By the way, you not only have one animal, you have four. Uh, the year represents your your uh, colleagues, your clients, your friends. The hour represents your finances, your mentor, your uh, career. The day represents you and your spouse, your significant someone. And then the hour represents your children, your investment, and even your thoughts. Uh, to get to the Apache calculator, please click. Click the link below. Okay, so here are the auxiliary stars that we have for the GOAT. Monthly Virtue, Happiness, National, National Treasure, Lesser Consumer, and Death Charm. What do they all mean? The first auxiliary star that we have is the Monthly Virtue. This actually pertains to help from noble people. It would be easy to ask for, for assistance from the people that are of higher ranking than you. Okay, so do maximize this and um, seize the opportunity by asking help from people that are of higher ranking than you, okay? Next is happiness. Of course, from the word itself, happiness, this actually indicates that there are many happy events or a series of events that would uh, cause for celebration, okay? Especially if you're... you're, uh, you're Goat is in the month pillar. This would indicate happy events or scenarios or circumstances that would allow you to celebrate uh, through your uh, career or your business. So that's a good thing. So happy events means uh, opportunities. This actually means uh, your ability to find new network and so on and so forth. Or th this could also mean some progression or growth in terms of your career for the happiness. Okay, so next is the national treasure. Uh, this is a good uh, auxiliary star as this indicates steady income and uh, increased in salary if you are an employee. Okay, so if you're a business owner, um, income wouldn't be much of a problem for you uh, within 2022 if GOAT is placed at your month pillar. Okay, great. So the next uh, two auxiliary stars that we have is the lesser consumer and then we have the death charm. Now lesser consumer is all about expenses, especially if you don't have the discipline to manage your finances. My advice is to seek uh, for products or services that would re that would give you a much uh, return of investment instead of uh, spending aimlessly okay this will help manage uh, your finance especially especially for the rainy days and uh, doing so also increasing or pushing yourself to have the discipline to save first before spending will actually help you uh, and protect you from rainy days Okay, so next is the death charm. Death charm is all about obstacle, litigation, arguments. No, it's a it's a series of problems that could happen within 2022 if we are not careful. Okay, if we're not careful and we do not manage our actions, and um, this could be this could you can find 2022 a little more uh, difficult, especially if you uh, your goat is placed at the month. Pillar, if you are not going to have the ability to strategize your plan, uh, your month-to-month -month activities, this can be difficult. Now, in order to prevent this from happening, my advice is to create a plan uh, and stick to the plan. Have the discipline to stick to the plan and learn to strategize whenever there is any obstacle, obstacle along the way. That's the best way to manage this uh, desk. God, should anything happen. When it comes to litigation, please have your documents, any contracts that you actually have to sign checked 
by your lawyer before signing anything and please refrain from saying things out of a whim or doing things uh, recklessly to avoid uh, offending others okay because offending others at the end of the day can cause some litigation and further arg arguments and when this happened this is another set of problem that you have to actually face and we don't want that right okay so thank you so much for watching i hope you learned something today i'll see you in my next video bye